Good greetings and salutations to you lovely individuals of this lovely planet. My name is Eric Flying Han, solo on today's epi and fair warning right away if you are a Gen G or Chovy hater, if you're calling them Chokey, if you think they're no good, if you think they're overrated, leave right now. Run away right now because we're going in, we're praising church is in session. We are in the Church of Chovy. It is a sermon today for who is the best mid laner, not just in the LCK. I'm going to say right now, spring split pre-MSI. I'm giving him the check mark. Is he the best mid laner in the world right now? Yes, is the answer. We're looking at the numbers and the highlights from this spring split that has added another trophy to his mantle already before playoffs have even kicked off. We know he got MVP, his second of the LCK. Also, notching up player of the split, which is simply whoever has the most man of the match or player of the game MVPs, which often it's not the same guy picking up both of them. Uh, MVP has a obviously totally different criteria than that of player of the split but Chobi locking up both of them obviously he was first team all pro and now we honestly really got to start talking about this guy uh, I mean listen everyone's already talking about Chobi he's one of the most talked about players and rightfully so because it's rare that anyone is reaching uh, the level of impact that he can have but this 2024 spring split He's only getting better, guys. It's terrifying. It seems like he's added another level to his game this split. 17-1 and one for Gen G, and the most absolute cartoon-level eye-popping numbers to look at for him. Let's just list off a lot of these major statistical categories that he is number one in among mid laners. You got the obvious ones in KDA. Gold per minute, CS at 15, solo kills. But then you're going off the board. You're adding vision score, CS per minute. That's an obvious one that he's always going to have. And the damage percentage, he's a measly second. He's behind Bulldog on that one by like 0.2% or something. So couldn't quite complete that full sweep of all these huge statistical categories. But this guy's passing every possible test in spring. You look at the numbers, they're absolutely absurd. You watch any of the matches. He's not only passing the eye test, he is passing with absolute flying colors. And then we get to what is now the added element to his game, the evolution of Chovy in that mid lane, because the main criticism that we've seen for him, this is usually specifically applicable to international events, but maybe a little bit too passive, too focused on that laning phase. Sure, he amasses some big CS leads, but maybe the opposition's mid laner is roaming, hitting up other lanes and having a bigger impact on the map, even when Chovy would get farmed, get ahead, He's maybe invisible in team fights. That lead never amounts to anything in the mid to late game, but that is gone and a thing of the past because one of the other eye-popping numbers that's not on here, a more analytical, uh, deep-rooted stat is lane percentage, which is basically how much time they're spending in lane. And pre-14 minutes, he's actually the lowest. The lowest of all mid laners in terms of spending time in lane, which is absolutely nutty. The craziest stat of them all that he's putting up these ludicrous numbers while not even being in lane that often. Whether it's messing around with the opposing jungler or helping get his side lanes ahead. It, it really does feel like we've reached the final form of Chovy where he can get these huge uh, lane leads. By himself, basically. A lot of the times, Canyon not even showing up. Just in a straight up 1v1, sometimes 1v2, he's getting these scenarios. But now he's able to move around the map and have an impact everywhere else. And that is, to me, one of the main reasons why this Gen G roster went 17 and 1, 34 and 5 overall. But case in point, listen, Faker actually had a fantastic split across the board. And Chovy's season or split really popped the lid off the volcano erupted when they had that head-to-head -head when they were both 12 and 1 and you saw 
Faker was suppressed in lane. He couldn't do anything. And then Chovy's finding him in that series, getting solo kills on Corky. He was pinpoint laser focused on finding Faker in these team fights. He has the mid ulti, uh, mid Talia ulti charm out of Ari. There's multiple champions that you can talk about. Ari, the only guy comparable now is Knight in terms of best Ari in the world. His Yone continues to be an absolute treat. All of a sudden, he's silently picking a Silas. He still had the most played champions among all mid laners at 16 in what was supposed to be a relatively stale meta when it came to the mid lane. But all of a sudden, he has all these fallback picks like a Silas that he can pull out on any different meta. All of a sudden, he's playing Aurelian Soul. This guy is fully unleashed, fully unhinged. I know. We got to see it internationally. He's got to prove himself there because there's absolutely no question. Back to back to back titles. This dude is the king of the LCK right now. You look at the all pro honors. He's got nine of them. I feel like they only started doing these in 2020. So he's basically been on an all pro list every single split that he has been in the league. We just need him to show up at whether it's MSI, whether it's at Worlds, and it's not like he's even ever really had these egregious Dade Award level performances internationally. It's been a more team underperformance. And I say underperformance because making it to semifinals isn't good enough for this team because time and time again, the expectations are bare minimum to be in finals, but really people are expecting them to win these international events. And that's just going to be more of the same here in 2024. But no question to me right now, uh, we'll see how the playoff bracket plays out. But this guy is the best mid laner in the world. I'll take the conversation for him being the best player in the world right now. And this was just an emphatic stamp of approval uh, for him getting that title right now uh, because this is one of the most dominant spring splits or most dominant splits that we've seen individually out of a player and I know the rest of Gen G is fantastic in their own right but Chovy was just at an absolute other level especially when you're taking into account that mid lane is arguably the most competitive role in the LCK and there's a reason a non-Korean mid laner hasn't won world since um, what like 2013? 2012? Since before Faker uh, was winning that first title with SKT. Korean mid laners are the secret sauce to be winning a world championship. So the fact that Chovy is going up against the best of the best, game in, game out, and coming away with all these individual accolades. This guy has one of the most disgusting career highlight reels that you could possibly put together. The final form of Chovy, if you've been a follower, all along, I think this is the year that you're going to be rewarded with being able to shut down all the choky memes and choky haters because our Lord and Savior has arrived and it is Chovy in 2024. That is it today for League Unlock. Thank you for joining me. As always, my name is Eric. You people stay beautiful as you always do and we will catch you on that flippity flip.